does emotional stress have physical effects? Let's talk about it. Stress can cause an emotional reaction. It doesn't have to be a physical stressor. It can be an emotional stressor. An emotional stressor like stress in a relationship or at work, losses of a job, a loved one, or just hyperreaction to normal daily stressors can induce emotional stress. And emotional stress affects your body. We know that stress affects all the systems of the body, including the musculoskeletal system, the respiratory system, the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system, the gastrointestinal system, the nervous system, and the reproductive system. In the musculoskeletal system, a sudden onset of stress causes the muscles to tense up. Tension is only released when the stress passes. This is your body's way of trying to either fight the stressor or get away from the stressor. But chronic stress causes the muscles in the body to be in a constant state of guardedness. A constant state of tension can lead to headaches, neck, and back pain. In the respiratory system, stress, especially related to strong emotions, can present as respiratory symptoms, including shortness of breath and rapid breathing, leading to hyperventilation, where the airway in the nose, pharynx, and bronchioles contract. Chronic stress can exacerbate existing respiratory issues, like inducing asthma attacks and causing sleep apnea. Your cardiovascular system is also affected by stress. Acute stressors increase the heart rate and the contractility of the heart muscles, so it's contracting in a much stronger way to get blood flow to your extremities so you can get away from the danger. But in the long term, that increased heart rate and increased muscle contraction can lead to hypertension, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. Repeated acute stressors or persistent chronic stressors will contribute to inflammation in the cardiovascular system reflected in an elevation of the cardioreactive protein. Cardiovascular inflammation, especially in the coronary arteries, contributes to heart attacks. The way a person responds to stress emotionally affects their cholesterol levels too. High emotional stress causes dangerous small particle LDL to rise and large buoyant HDL to fall, which can contribute to arterial plaque, leading to heart attacks and strokes. Your endocrine system is also affected by stress. Chronic stress results in an impaired communication between the glands that produce hormones and your hypothalamus. That's because the HPA axis, the communication between the hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal gland, is overstimulated for a long period of time. And all that attention going to the adrenals can affect thyroid function and sex steroid function, as well as pancreatic function. We also know that chronic stress affects immune function, leading to autoimmune disorders, cancer, chronic fatigue, diabetes, obesity, and mood disorders. Your gastrointestinal system is also affected by stress. Stress affects the gut-brain communication, which can trigger pain, bloating, and bowel dysfunction. It's not uncommon to see increased heartburn, GERD, and indigestion from chronic stress. The gut is inhabited by millions and millions of bacteria, which influence your intestinal health as well as your brain health. Chronic stress can interfere with the health of the beneficial microflora in your gut, which can cause gastrointestinal symptoms as well as mood disorders. And your nervous system is also affected by stress. Chronic stress overactivates your autonomic nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system is made up of the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system allows your body to get away from danger by speeding systems up and your parasympathetic nervous system slows things down. If the sympathetic nervous system is constantly stimulated, your adrenal glands produce more adrenaline, raising your heart rate and your blood pressure. Adrenaline stimulates your hypothalamus to tell your adrenals to produce more cortisol, and high levels of cortisol over time cause tissue destruction. Your reproductive system is also affected by stress. In females, irregular periods, missed periods, infertility, increased premenstrual syndrome, decreased libido, premature menopause can be induced by chronic stress. While in males, stress can decrease libido, cause infertility, and even erectile dysfunction. If you have any questions about emotional stress causing physical effects, why don't you join me in our hormone support group? You'll get access to our free hormone reboot training. It is not easy living with stress, but there are ways to handle it better and heal. I'll see you in the next video.